What's by this is Jaden, welcome back to a new reaction video, and today we're reacting to Doctor Who Season 8, Episode 1, Deep Breath. And it's like an hour and like 11 minutes long. 17 minutes. Okay. I don't know what's up with them making their pilot, their, uh, their, uh, premieres whenever a new doctor comes around to be like an hour long. But, uh, um, yeah, we got a, a whole hour and like 20 minutes, uh, for the first episode called Deep Breath. And, um, I'm nervous. I, I will say I'm nervous. But before I talk more about that, um, it's been about a week since I reacted to the uh, last Matt Smith episode. I gave myself a week to calm down and to, to to compose myself, and I'm still upset about it. And I'm still pretty sad about it. Um, but one of the big things that's making me not too upset about it is that I've been looking forward to this doctor like i've really been looking forward to this doctor um it's kind of weird because when i started the show i like i didn't know about the ninth doctor and i didn't know much about the 11th doctor i knew about the 10th doctor and i knew about the 12th and 13th doctor and this was the one doctor that when i started the show i was like oh man i can't wait to get to this doctor I don't really know much about the 11th, so I was just like, oh, get to the 11th, so I'm excited to see how it's going to be when the 11th gets here. I know who Matt Smith is, you know, I kind of know who he was, but just the way that he, he was, he was so unexpected, like he was so unexpected to be my doctor. I'm saying he's my doctor, but I still got two more doctors to go through to really to really see if he's my doctor, but he, he got, he got a special type of reaction out of me, and, um, yeah, so just, Matt Smith was just awesome, um, I just got done watching An Adventure in Time and Space, um, like, recording this in the same session as uh, Adventure in Time and Space, um, and it was, it was nice seeing that Matt Smith was in that one as well, and it was good seeing, um, it was good seeing, uh, sorry, now, car alarm's going off, it was good seeing, uh, the how like the William Hartnell's Hartnell's like life kind of, well not life but his Doctor Who life anyway let's go ahead and mm -hmm. see deep breath and uh see what's gonna be about let's I'm excited I like his accent too he has like a different type of accent um but let's see how I like this Doctor let's see let's go watch deep breath full reactions on Patreon. Really? Already? We got dinosaurs? At Big Ben. That is one scary. Imagine we lived alongside dinosaurs. I. That's scary. Thank God. Oh, we got our gang! I thought. Not since I was a little girl. Haha. <laughs> It's, it's the TARDIS. How could it time travel? I don't know. It's the TARDIS. That's about something it ate. Yep. <laughs> oh, is that why they're like all messed up in the TARDIS? Whoa. Just crashed like that? When the doctor comes out, they're gonna be like, Who are you? It's just laid an egg. Hello? Exit the box and surrender to the glory of the Santara. Let me surrender. He's your friend. Shush. Oh, why does he sound like that? Doctor? I was being chased by a giant dinosaur, but I think oh. I managed to get the slip. Nope. Man, I don't, I don't know. It's weird not seeing that. Sir? But, all, but don't the regenerations, Please. don't they get like little... Don't be. Like little mist that comes out of their mouth whenever they get like whenever they become like the doctor. Because Matt Smith was all discombobulated until he had the little. The green one. She doesn't remember. She just doesn't remember exactly. I mustn't prejudge. Wrong. What's gone wrong? Have you regenerated? Oh. I remember you. Your handles. You used to be a little. Handles. <laughs> that is not handles. Really let yourself go. Why do you, why are you all doing that? Why are you 
Uh oh. Okay. Dark. <sighs> Won't really stop that. I don't think we are. Never mind. He's a little messed up. Everyone, take five. He's a little messed. Some mystery. I like this. We heard the TARDIS when he fell. What do we do? I don't understand. There's a doctor. That is I a hear. doctor. That, we can never see Matt Smith again. Until they, uh, the you know, unless they pull like a David Tennant, but I mean, like, it always happens. Um, first impressions of this season are really good. This is the intro. Okay, I, I see what I see what they're doing. I see what they're doing with that, and I'm not mad at it. Um. I'm not mad at it. I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm not mad at it. Deep breath. I, I actually do like it. Um, I just like the classic vortex. That's just, I like what that is. Who invented this room? Doctor, please, you have to lie down. It doesn't make any sense. Look, it's only got a bed in it. You sound the same. It's spreading. You all sound all English. Now, you've all developed a fault. Doctor. I can't wait until he becomes the doctor, because you know every doctor turns out, every doctor starts out like kind of weird, but then they become the doctor. I'm having difficulty sleeping. And they have this good speech. Oh well, I. So I'm excited for his. I never bother with sleeping. I just do standing up cat naps. Oh really? How interesting. The size of my brain will be like dropping a piano. You can do that. Be gentle then. We can psychic link with each other. So people are monkeys now, are they? No, dear. People are apes. Men. Oh, monkeys. So what now? He needs rest. So what do we do? How do we fix him? Fix him? How do we change him back? What have we done wrong? The dinosaur doesn't seem very happy. What's wrong with it? I don't know. Doctor's the one that speaks dinosaur. <laughs> I don't like her, Mom. I love her. And as to different, well... She's a lizard. <laughs> she, she fell in love with a lizard, so she probably do a lot of things. Um, I hope this isn't a Doctor Light episode, like how David Tennant's was, but because Matt Smith, we had in the hole. You can't see it. I think all of London can see it. <laughs> Boy, Madame Vestra is waiting. See, he always says Madame okay. Vestra Whatever. because I everyone else a boy. To her chamber. And her, he knows her gender, but not. Not wearing Not a coat. Clara's. What's all that? Clothes. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, really? Your gift. I have bad eyes. <gasps> I have bad eyes too. Not so bad, but I need glasses to see like. Why are you wearing your veil? And then. And then we got swallowed by a big dinosaur, you probably notice. Okay, he changed. He regenerated. Renewed himself. Renewed. Fine. Such a cynical smile. She does not want to say regenerated? I'm not smiling. Not outwardly. But I'm accustomed to seeing through a veil. How have I amused you? You said renewed, he doesn't... He doesn't look renewed, he looks... <laughs> older. Man, Peter you Capaldi he was, was like. Young. He looked young. How? He looked young. Who do you think that was for? <laughs> Me. What? Everyone. I wear a veil as he wore a face. <gasps> for the same reason. So what, what reason? What reason does he but look the like this reason now? There is for anything. Jenny and I are married. Yet, for appearances' sake, we maintain a pretense in public that she is my maid. Doesn't exactly explain why I'm pouring tea in private. <laughs> Hush now. The young man disappeared. The veil lifted. He trusted you. Are you judging him? <sighs> You're boring, not me. Really? <laughs> 
Marcus Aurelius, Roman Emperor. Last of the five good and stoic philosopher. Superlative bass guitarist. The doctor really knows how to put a band together. And the only pinup I ever had on my wall when I was 15, the only one I ever had. I'm not sure who you think you're talking to right now, Madame Bastro, but I have never had the slightest interest in pretty young men. And for the record, if there was anybody who could flirt with a mountain range, she's probably standing in front of you right now. I heard somewhere that the doctor took the face Sorry. of this guy because he knew him well, from the the Pompeii episode or something. Goodness me! I think that was one of my comments. The actually, ruffled at last. I, I often know. wondered what you'd be like when you lost your temper. Oi! Oh, Mary! The hiss. Sorry, sorry, it's all my fault. My time machine got stuck in your throat. It happens. I brought you along by accident. You will be at home again. <laughs> What? Um. Who's doing that now? Oh. Uh, I'm gonna have to relieve you of your pet. Your what? Shut up! I was talking to the horse. <laughs> Probably gonna shoot him. Forward. He's got the sonic screwdriver. Looks like what? Clear? Looks like just like a regular white leg. Doesn't look green. trouble where else would you be she was scared she was scared oh i know this guy can make me cry from his monologues that's why i'm excited for i brought her here look what i did oopsie you already gave me a little who or what could have done this i think thing. i'm just emotional but anyway you need to calm down and talk to us what is the question a dinosaur is burning in the heart of london nothing left but smoke and flame yeah. See, I said they're gonna do Question something messed up to the, to the dinosaur. She was lonely. Have there been any similar murders? No. Then what is he? I'll play as well. See something, something sentimental. <laughs> I didn't expect him to actually help. Moved by the available spectacle. Do you think that's whoever? Oh! Uh, did he just? What's he doing? He'll drown. Ow! That's it. Careful. Don't get it scratched, or you and all your bloodline will be obliterated from time and space. Oh. Strats! Ah! Morning, Miss Clara. You're I love Strax. You got the TARDIS, then? Military tactics. You look better now, you're up. Thank you, Strax. <laughs> oh, sorry. Check of the light, you still look terrible. Oh. Say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, you are indeed you thirsty. Lips. They're looking at my eye. Ah. Oh, yes, there we are. Easy mistake. Oh, really? 27 years old. Oh! A projected lifespan of exactly... Stop. Right there. Oh, you're going to do quite well. But watch out for fluid retention later. It's going to be spectacular. By now, he's almost certainly had his throat cut by the violent poor. Oh, um, he is going crazy. I will not forget a single line of this. Don't look into mirrors, they're aggressive. They just pop up. The it's Pompeii episode. Like this one. Come on, look at it. Look, have a look. look You've seen this face look, before? Look, look. Is that a thing that they're gonna do? Like it's covered in lights. Oh never mind. I didn't do the frowning. Oh, it's good. I'm Scottish. Scottish. I am Scottish. Wasn't David Ted wasn't David I isn't David Scottish? Things. I can really complain about things now. Give me your coat. No. I am cold. I'm cold. I'm cold. Please leave, no ginger man. Cold. Give me a cold. It's scientific nonsense, of course. Marriage. Hush. There have been nine reported incidents of people apparently exploding in the last month. I think whoever killed the dinosaur had I bet she's not. Nine I was about to say. Why do you have her standing like that? I was about to say, she's not fresh. painting you. I thought you were painting me. I was working. What? The game is afoot. Ooh. We're going to need a lot of tea. <sighs> there appears to be nothing of significance in the rest of the newspaper. Not even in the agony column. He, he doesn't do puzzles. He, he isn't complicated. He really doesn't have the attention span. So? It that simple. Who's reading all that? Hotel Victoria? Or Mancy's fancy, fancy restaurant? Oh, uh, Ma Ma Mancini's. 
I like this episode actually because like, we're, we're taking like a break. Like we're we're not like we're living in uh, an old era instead of I think like every other regeneration has been in present day. Oh, <laughs> he stinks. Yes, I am cross. I guess that. I am cross. extremely cross. And if I hadn't changed my face, would you be cross? I would be cross if I wasn't cross. Why? An ordinary person wants to meet someone that they know very well for lunch. What do they do? Well, they probably get in touch and suggest lunch. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what kind of person would put a cryptic note in, in a newspaper advert? Well, I wouldn't like to say... Oh, go on, do say. Well, I would say that that person would be an egomaniac, needy game player. No, no, no I, I didn't play CRG, you play CAD. No, I didn't. Yes, you place the ad. I figured it out. Impossible girl. See, lunch. No, look, the impossible. That is a message from the impossible. Oh, message. The impossible I love his accent. Girl. What? <gasps> what? Hmm. What is happening right now in this restaurant to you and me? It's more important than your egomania. I don't think it's more important than my egomania. Right, you actually said that. You never mention that again. It's it's, it's a head scratcher. Trap. You're so busy congratulating yourself on solving the puzzle. You don't notice that you're sticking your head. In he is being very okay. cryptic. And that isn't the only great one if you are him. Okay, number one, I love their banter back and forth. They're really well playing off each other. Number two, they are like arguing a lot. I do like that a lot. Number There's three, we're getting a little wrong. creepiness. And, and I do mm, like that. Don't you always think that. Look without looking. They're not fine to me, they're just eating. 